everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at, I believe, a relatively new plugin called Lost Tapes by Superfly DSP. I'd never heard of this developer, but this plugin seemed pretty cool. It's a lo-fi tape effect with some different tape models and a couple different controls. It seems to be relatively simple, but I'm curious about what the sound quality is like and how good it is. I have a bunch of different sources lined up here. I think the first thing to do would be test this plugin out on a bunch of different sources and see how it sounds, and then we'll dive into the controls a little bit, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the plugin. Very quickly, I'd like to note I'm working in Logic, and Logic only supports AU. This plugin failed the AU validation, it crashed it, so I'm having to load the plugin as a VST3 through Bluecat's Patchworks. Hopefully the developer will fix this soon. The first thing I'm going to test this plugin on is a pretty mellow bell sound I loaded up in Alchemy. I'm going to start with the effect off, and then I'll turn it on and mess with some of the controls so you can hear what the plugin can do. The next sound source I'm going to use is the upright piano in Easy Keys, another relatively unprocessed sound that could definitely benefit from something like a tape emulation plugin. Let's hear what that sounds like. You can hear that when I bring the mix percentage down to mix in some of the dry signal with the wet process signal, it adds a chorusing effect, and that's because the tape emulation is going to add wow and flutter and natural pitch variation, and so when you mix that pitch variation back in with the raw, unprocessed pitch, it's going to create a sort of pitch modulation and chorusing. The different tape modes seem to add filtering to the sound source. You can hear with the broken mode, it adds almost a resonant bump at a particular frequency. And the quality increases as you go up through these different tape modes. The next sound source I have here is a very clean stock Logic Rhodes piano. You can create a really cool chorus effect by using a lower mix percentage on something like a Rhodes keyboard. Now let's hear what Lost Tape sounds like on a full mix. I have a cymatics loop here with some voice and electric guitar. Thank you. 
last sound source I have here is a drum break I made in Excel on Audio XO. Let's see what it sounds like with lost tapes on it. Now I'll explain the controls of the plugin while using this bell sound to demonstrate. First we have the tape type buttons. They mainly impact the frequency bandwidth. The artifact slider is pretty cool as well. It seems to give you control over how damaged or old the tape is. Depth control increases the tape effect. They don't specify, but my guess would be that this changes the wow. The rate control is used to increase flutter frequency. The crunch button adds harmonic distortion. mix effect allows you to mix dry sounds with the affected sound. The noise slider allows you to increase noise volume. Stereo mode here adds unique stereo width. It's especially effective on synth leads or electric keyboards. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty cool plugin. It has pretty good sound quality, and I don't think it really competes with something like Chow DSP Chow Tape, but it might not really be designed to. It's much more simplistic, it has simpler controls, and for something that you can just throw on a track to add a lo-fi or tape sound, it could work pretty well. I have a few very small criticisms with the plugin, first of which is that it doesn't allow you to drag your mouse up and down to turn the knobs. Fortunately, you can use your mouse wheel to turn the knobs, which is how I would do it. My largest complaint would honestly be the fact that the AU crashed, so people who don't have Blue Cat's patchworks might not be able to load this into Logic. I assume down the line that'll be fixed, so that's not really a big deal. Another small thing, the noise seems to be pretty aggressive. Even at low settings, it seems to be very audible. It might be nice to be able to bring it down a little bit more. I think the GUI of the plugin is very nice. It's flat, it's simplistic. All of the controls are readily available. I like the fact that you have multiple different tape modes, but other than that, you don't have a ton of control over the sound. In general, I'm a huge fan of lo-fi plugins and tape emulation plugins, so I think this is a really cool plugin to try out and see how it fits in your projects. In general, I don't think it's going to replace some of the more complex plugins like RC20 or Chow DSP Chow Tape, but I think it has its own little place, and for a plugin that you can just throw on a track and dial in a quick lo-fi sound with, it could be pretty useful. I really hope you enjoyed this quick look at Lost Tapes by Superfly DSP. I think it's a plugin that's worth checking out. If you enjoyed this demo, consider leaving a like and subscribing, and I'll release more videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.